Hello students, welcome to Sonosur's classes. In this video, I will be solving a question from ISS 2016 paper 3. Now here we have to define the Destras order estimation estimator for population mean and on the basis of sample of size 2, then we have to show that this order estimator it is unbiased that is we have to define the ras order estimator for population mean on the basis of a sample of size 2 that is the size of the sample it is 2 and then we have to show that this order estimator it is unbiased now let us def denote this y1 and y2 suppose they denote they denote the values of units values of units u1 and u2 where this u1 and u2 they are the units drawn at first and second draw so this u1 and u2 they are the units that are drawn in first and second drawing and this y1 and y2 they denote the value of these unit now further let p1 and p2 they are the initial probabilities they are the initial probabilities of selection of so they are the initial probabilities of selection of these units u1 and u2 respectively so if we consider this s an estimator z1 which is equals to y1 divided by capital N into P1 where this capital N it is the size of the population and another estimator Z2 which is equals to 1 by capital N into Y1 plus Y2 into 1 minus P1 divided by P2 and then we have another estimator Z bar which is equals to our Z1 plus Z2 divided by 2. Then these three estimators, they are Desra's ordered estimator. So these are our Desra's order estimator where Z1 is equals to Y1 by NP1. Z2 is equals to 1 by N, Y1 plus Y2 into 1 minus P1 divided by P2. And Z bar is the average of Z1 and Z2. Now here this P2 divided by 1 minus P1. This is the probability of selecting U2 when U1 is already selected. That is probability of U2 given U1. Now let us see whether these estimators they are unbiased or not. So let us start with Z1. So let us start with Z1. So we get expectation of Z1. This is equals to 1 by capital N into expectation of Y1 divided by P1. Now this is equals to 1 by capital N into capital Y1 by P1 into capital P1 plus capital Y2 by P2 into P2 plus so on till capital Yn by Pn into Pn where these Y1, Y2 these values they are the values of Ui or where this yi they are the values of ui or uith unit of the population value of uith unit of population now note that here u1 and u2 they do not in the previous that is here this u1 and u2 
they do not represent the first and second unit of the population but they denote the first and the second unit being selected from or the units being selected in first and second drawing but here this ui now instead of explaining it in terms of ui to avoid confusion we are denoting it as vi so we have here is we have here is that yi it is the value of vith unit of the population so from here we can say that this is equals to 1 by capital n into summation i goes from 1 to capital n yi which is equals to y bar so our expectation of z1 is equals to y bar so our z1 is an unbiased estimator now next is z2 now expectation of z2 this is equals to 1 by capital n into expectation of y1 plus y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 so this is equals to 1 by capital n into expectation of y1 plus expectation of this expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 here we are using the formula expectation of y this is equals to ex into ey of y given x so here we are using this formula here so from this we can say that expectation of z2 this is equals to 1 by n into expectation of so 1 by n into expectation of y1 into 1 by n into expectation of expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 now since y2 our y2 it can take all the possible values except y1 so it can take all possible values except y1 and the probability would be that is the probability of this y2 it would be so with probability of p2 divided by 1 minus p1 so since our y2 it can take all possible all possible values except y1 with probability equals to p2 divided by 1 minus p1 so we get this second part that is expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 this is equals to summation of summation of j into yj into 1 minus pj 1 minus p1 divided by pj into pj divided by 1 minus p1 so this expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 it is equals to summation j into this yj into 1 minus p1 divided by pj into pj divided by 1 minus p1 so from here we get expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 this is equals to capital y total divided by y1 
so if we substitute this value in our equation we will get e of z2 e of z2 this is equals to 1 by capital N into expectation of y1 plus expectation of y total minus y1 y total as we know that the second part that is expectation of y2 into 1 minus p1 divided by p2 given u1 it is equals to y total minus y1 so we will get our expectation of z2 is equals to 1 by capital N into summation expectation of y1 plus expectation of y total minus y1 so this is equals to 1 by capital N into expectation of y total which is equals to y total divided by capital N which is equals to y bar so we get our expectation of z2 is equals to y bar so z2 is also an unbiased estimator now expectation of z bar this would be equals to expectation of z1 plus expectation of z2 divided by 2 which is equals to y bar plus y bar divided by 2 which is equals to y bar so from here we can see that z1 z2 and z bar all these three are the unbiased estimator of the population mean y bar